Why Raid isn't the perfect game, big reasons, small reasons, let's dive right into it. What up team, it's your boy Murder Inc here, back with another HL Legends video. Today we're going to be talking about Raid as a game, the improvements the game needs to have. It's a pretty good game, okay? I'm not going to say it. there is no such thing as the perfect game, but this game can be a lot better. They're in the they're going in the right direction, kind of, but there are a lot of things they can improve on. Small things that kind of make you scratch your head saying, why haven't they done anything? Because, and I know a lot of people are going to say because they want money, but some of these things would make people money. So the first thing I want to talk about is the difference between how to make the game better realistically and how to make the game better overall. So if you want to make the game better overall, reduce the price of all the packs, give us more free things. Not realistic. We can agree, even though we want that, we can agree it's not realistic. The game will not succeed in the long run if they approach it that way. However, there are some pretty big issues with a lot of parts of this game, and I want to talk about that right now. The first thing is going to be, I believe it's active now. Okay, so 10 times events. This is a major flaw in the game. I believe people have talked about this, or the community, you guys watching, you know about this. But 10 times events have been around for a very, very long time. Now, they were a lot better like a year and a half, two years ago than they are now for pretty obvious reasons. The first is they keep adding tons of new champions to the game. So what happens every time they keep adding new champions to the game? 10 times events are harder to pull the specific champions. I've made a video already showing you the odds you have of pulling the legendary champion from the 10 times and they're incredible. You should check it out. It's two times event, 10 times events. It's all of the information on your actual percentage of getting those champions. So why isn't Plarium increased that to 15 times, 20 times? I don't know. Everything I know analytically about this game leads me to the point of saying if they did that, they would make more money. However, something on their end is saying that people are spending enough money for their analytics to justify keeping it at a 10 times event. If you want prices to be cheaper, you have to stop buying what they're selling. You've already seen this. Maybe some of you have noticed this. Maybe some of you haven't noticed this. They do change the prices on packs, and this is based on how popular they are. If people are buying them, they can increase the price. If people aren't buying them, they will decrease the price or reformat the price of this. I've personally seen this in quite a few packs. I'm sure you've noticed this as well with packs changing, specifically Void Shards. Someone was just saying the other day, it looks like Void Shards were getting the more expensive packs more often. It's crazy by Plarium. Is it though? You want to know why they're doing that? Because people are buying them like crazy. So this is the reason I'm talking about, but it doesn't really justify the main point. Of 10 times events, they make less and less sense as time goes on. And I can tell you, because I know this, I've seen, I have a list from, I think, 2019 of hundreds of champions. We have a lot of them already, but we also don't have a lot of them. So there are so many champions that they had years ago that aren't released in the game yet. They're slowly trickling out, but if they release all of these champions and keep 10 times, it's going to almost be the same i mean of course it's going to be 10 times higher but the percentages are getting smaller and smaller as time goes on based on that 10 times and it's going to be you're not going to notice it i mean it is a huge bait because we see this glowing portal and we say okay i really want this champion so i mean if that appeal stays to players they're probably going to keep it but i think it's in their best interest to increase it it should increase spending overall that's point number one. That's kind of the smallest point of this video here. Second point is the gem mine. A lot of people buy the gem mine. It's one of the few purchases like quite many people buy. So this is a missed opportunity because this is all we have, the gem mine. Why don't we have a silver mine? Why don't we have an energy mine? They can call it whatever they want. This, this sells. I can tell you for a fact, this sells. Plarium knows it. The players know it if you i mean how many of you don't have your gem mine unlocked to at least one right it makes sense you make things back over time people are spending on it 
if they add two more silver is such a big problem in this game i don't have to tell you guys that you already know it's a huge problem they can do a ton of things to improve silver but this is a no-brainer because this like i said it costs something from the players to unlock whether it's gems i mean if it char if they charge silver it'd be pretty stupid but same thing applies for energy i don't think they should do any other type of mine like a shard mine someone said that once and i said mm, that's a little bit on the risky side when you're approaching someone like plarium saying you should have a shard mine i don't think that's realistic but silver mine should be a no-brainer we should have had that a long time ago same thing with energy some form of like energy pump something like I'm, I'm thinking about clash of clans i played it for a long time competitively they can add all of these things to the game they're easy sales pitch players are going to buy it i already know it i would buy it for sure i'm sure free to play players despite the word free to play if you're going to spend a little bit of money this is something that you would invest in because in the long term it's going to pay out and game's pretty good so besides that we have those two things now the next thing i want to talk about is something i hinted at in the last video we need preset gear sets this is something that i have no idea why they haven't added before it's a bit silly to me that it's taken this long for the game to even i haven't even heard them talk about this i brought this up before they said okay okay but this is something we need if i can even find a fully geared champion since i've kind of taken all the gear off of pretty much okay so duchess here i should be able to save this so i can use i mean everyone knows that it takes a long time to get a lot of very good gear even where i am as you can see from my account i do have quite a bit of solid gear just sitting around i have 1227 pieces most of them plus 16 just sitting here that i can't equip but for me personally it saves silver to not have them on champions and anyways that's my reasoning on that but i should be able to save this as uh custom gear set one now this could be a lot of work for plarium i don't know i'm not a professional coder i don't know how much this would cost but if they made it champion specific i mean let's just think about that for a second i have 308 out of 400 here 277 in the vault multiple options for multiple champions that's a lot of I don't know space whatever you call it for coding wise but what they can do is separate it by faction separate it by champion role whatever they want to do if they want to make it like preset ai give us i don't know let's say 25 i'll take anything at this point 25 20 15 even 10 gear sets let us save at least 10 if you want to make it some pay to win option after that go for it but give us something baseline for free I understand you have to make money, yes, but it's also important that the players are really enjoying your game and they're not just quitting all the time. I've said this many times, retention in this game is very low. A lot of players don't make it to the end game. Things like this will help. I can tell you that. I'm pretty sure Playroom as a company is smart enough to know that. I know players, I don't think a single player is going to listen to what I'm saying here and say, oh, that's a terrible idea, murder. Why would you ever add preset gear sets? No. We have so much content in this game we swap gear constantly having to go through find the pieces i can do it pretty well because i've had the same champions and the same gear for a long time but if you're not end game you get upgrades all the time it's much harder for me to get an upgrade to a core champion that i use on a day-to-day -day basis than it is for many other players even for an end game player specifically compared to everyone else it's much harder to get that upgrade so it's common for someone like an end game player to be familiar with their gear to say okay i know i need gloves with these sets so they can find it in seconds for every other player that's not going to be the case because upgrades are so frequent in this game early on that it's just a hassle and why make it a hassle so preset gear sets is something that this game desperately needs it would be huge quality of life we are getting some pretty good quality of life already Reworking the tavern, all of these AI changes are very nice. The preset and save teams, adding more of them. This is all nice, but we need more. They have to do more. Another thing I want to talk about is something that I don't personally buy. I don't actually think I can buy it on the PC. Okay, so it's going to be the, the like progression card, right? That pops up right here. That gives you additional, I think, multi-battles, silver... I did a video a while ago breaking down why that's not a very good thing to buy that monthly raid pass unless you're spending money 
this may come to a shock to people who haven't seen that video but if you do the math as far as making the benefit of spending the ten dollars a month i think it's ten dollars it could be 15 i don't know i don't want to misquote you but i probably should have watched that video before i did this my bad however you can check that out if you can find it, it was i don't know like a year ago or something but you have to six star a certain amount of champions for this to be worth it since it has to do with campaign battles and most players who have that pass they aren't six starring there are that many champions per month and a lot of people didn't know that and so it's kind of wasted money so they can definitely alter that raid pass make it more i mean listen if they're baiting enough people into buying it i can see why they haven't changed it but as far as a player who understands how the whole game works and i'm not just looking at analytics it's very outdated and it doesn't really give you enough for it to be worth buying unless you're spending money like i said so that's another thing that i've definitely noticed they have to redo now some of the more obvious things and i don't even have to talk about this tag team arena what is this garbage this can be fun for some players if you're full-on player versus player i mean where are you are there any of you out there and you love tag arena so i'm speaking to like 10 people right now it's fine however there's a lot lacking from this the bizarre rewards they're not terrible okay like i'm gonna snag this void shard well, easy i get one void shard what did it take for me to get that void shard Fifteen thousand gold bars that's another story but there's nothing wrong with the shop here i think the rewards are fine it's just the the taxing time it takes to do this like i said if you had preset gear sets this would be much easier because i could just think about this when i'm pushing i could set aside 10 15 minutes a day and this goes to our next point even i don't want to skip over pvp too much because it's a big problem not a lot of players like it but they're going to rework it allegedly in 2022 this system they're going to add more pvp to the game hopefully it changes things for the better i'm um, i have hope because i do like this game if i didn't have hope for the game i would have quit and there would be no point in me talking about this i can't imagine anything getting worse could be wrong but my personal thoughts what we need desperately is instant battles in this game time is an issue everyone knows that unless you're a content creator like myself which there there aren't thousands of us time is an issue with this game they're going to keep releasing new content continually it's going to be a time sink three times isn't enough i'm going to tell you right now you can get excited for three times they tease three times speed it's not going to cut it we need something where when i go to battle these guys of course not with this team as soon as i hit start there has to be a next arrow where i can instantly have the fight play out and figure out who won and who lost that way every single time this happens it's just going to take seconds this would mean we need replays in the game. Replays, second crucial part about player versus player that's severely lacking. When I go to Classic Arena and I go to my uh, battle log run defense here, I want to see these fights. It could bore a lot of people. Some people may not be interested, but if they want people to care about player versus player, you have to get people the tools to care about it, right? Great Hall is really good don't get me wrong but it's not enough it's not enough to grab players because players know how hard it is to build up their great hall from zero i remember doing the grind i wasn't a content creator when i was grinding a full great hall and it's a grind like everything in this game but more i was a whale so it was much easier for me than it would be for free to play low spender mid spender whatever i understand that however replay being able to see the fight take place learn from it players would get smarter the more advanced the player feels i mean this goes hand in hand with spending if a player feels more accomplished they're more likely to spend in a game if they don't if they feel like this is useless i would argue that there's nothing more enticing to spend money on in this game than player versus player at the moment because of how it's the only competitive part of the game you can spend i mean i don't think anyone's spending thousands of dollars pulling shards for a clan boss team could be wrong man eaters are a thing inquisitor shamail is a thing for hydra could be wrong in that front but if you're a competitive pvp player 
I'm pretty, I'm like fairly confident. I can't say this for a fact, but I'm fairly confident. The biggest whales in this game are focused on arena. So with that being said, it makes no sense why they're not giving us more for PVP to get us more interested in this. Same thing applies. Give us the replays, then let us fight battles and be able to hit automatically next. This next system is going to be huge here. If I fight this team here, I want to preset my team, whatever it's going to be. Let's just say I use this team right here. Hopefully they're geared if they're not whatever. As soon as I start this battle, I want to hit an arrow right here that says next. Now this fight, because I'm overgeared, might not take long, but I'm already losing seconds here. This should have taken two seconds for me to do. This is a very drawn out process here i've done this so many times i know what the outcome is going to be already i mean it looked like i was going to lose i had it under control trust me but i should not be wasting 17 seconds this should be a second long thing this battle is not a good representation of what the arena is like battles are taking a minute two minutes sometimes or you can get crazy bad luck three minute fights whatever it is it should be done in a second I know they can do this because of that visual bug that happened where they were banning people for using cheat engine but what players might not remember is the game had a bug that was replicating a cheat engine type effect on accounts without using any software so this happened to me live on stream reset happened while i was doing a spider dungeon and the bug hit because of that, and that was the specific scenario, while I was on stream, all of my champions went blank, all of the enemy waves went blank, and I was clearing a spider in a second over and over again. So the game can handle it. It didn't crash at all. It went to the ending screen. Everything worked fine. I had my auto clicker. Auto clicker did not affect it at all. It's a simple script that hits the button R in the program read Shadow Legends on player and play. Everything was fine here. So they can do it. I know they can do it and I know it's going to work flawlessly because it was already replicated in a bug and the bug had no effects. And also know this because I was a moderator at the time. It had no effects to players' accounts at all. It was something they hot fixed and they patched up because they didn't want it to happen. I don't know why, but they should have kept it. Players would have loved that, but maybe Dungeons isn't the best way to use that, which is kind of my next point. Why not, right? I pitched this a while ago for Faction Wars, same thing for Doom Tower. If I complete these factions 25 times in a row, getting three stars on stage 21, completing that three star requirement 25 times in a row, it should become an instant battle. This is going to save so many, this saves so many things. It's like killing three birds with one stone. I don't have to gear the champions anymore. It saves the players silver. It lets the players focus their time on other aspects of the game, making them more prone to reach endgame because they're not doing these daily chores. After they hit the minimum, whatever Plarium sets for them, and they will in return spend more money on the new content instead of possibly and most likely getting worn out by doing these dailies over and over again. So the emphasis is not to rob new players of this new content. They should not give instant battles for everything right off the bat. They're going to kill the game. I'm pretty sure everyone watching, most people at least, I'm not going to speak for you, is smart enough to understand that if they add instant battles on first completion, people are going to quit faster because the game's going to become boring. If they make it achievement-based so it feels good, do it 25 times, stage 21 three-stars. The first time you do stage 21 in a three-star on full auto, it feels good. You you achieved something and it feels good. And you're building towards getting Lydia, which is huge. So do it a certain amount of times. Unlock the instant battle. Forget about the champions. You use them once and they can do whatever they want. If they don't want to get rid of the gear requirement, it would be a feels bad. I'll take anything at this point, but reduce the player time. Do this for Doom Tower. Do this for Faction Wars. Dungeons is an iffy. I don't think they're ever going to do this for dungeons. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Because super raids exist. Now, super raids aside, we do not have super raids for the Minotaur. Magic keep, spirit keep, arcane keep, void keep, or force keep. So, with the same thing can apply. If you... Now, once again, there's no three-star system. So, what do you do? Complete stage 20 50 times on auto and then you unlock instant battles? Maybe. 
Maybe. Doesn't seem likely though. This is the problem. They want to emphasize achievements. I know this about them. I've talked to them about this specifically. So don't have a lot of hope for anything on this dungeon map. Being honest with you. Like I said, we know there's new content around the corner. It's going to speed up the playtime. We've already seen clan boss. This is something that they should never add instant battles to. Clan boss is a huge part of this game. Arguably the most popular part of this game based on my personal analytics of looking at uh, YouTube watch time, Twitch watch time, all of these different things. Players love clan boss. It's very customizable. You can use weird champions. I mean, if my clan is the worst clan to look at because we're all using bad eater here. This happens in endgame, but for players that want to test things around, clan boss is huge, 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 huge. So with all of this being said, this is where something like three times speed would be better. Four times speed, five times speed, whatever they want to cap it at. Clan boss, it would shine here. Hydra, I think it's too new to add something that quickly to Hydra. Could be wrong, but knowing Plarium, I don't think they're going to add this to any type of new content. They could. I don't think it's a problem, but Doom Tower, this is kind of a no-brainer here. I think they should do instant battles upon completion, like I already suggested. 15 times, 25 times, 50 times, whatever they want to do. This is fine. Campaign, I think campaign's fine. I don't think they should change anything with it. If you want to do instant battles for farming food, I, I guess... This is the thing, and this is why I want to be very cautious when I say this plan. This sounds really good. Now I can tell you why some of these features aren't already in the game. If you look at research for any type of game, the statistic is as follows. The more time a player spends playing the game, the more money they're likely to spend on that game. This is a fact across all mobile games. However, I think this is a bit skewed for Raid because raid is not your typical mobile game there's so much theory crafting involved there's so much idle time spent whether it's auto clicking dungeons i don't think it's the best metric to an extent to use for raid i think they can improve a lot of places and not lose out on that because like i said earlier they need to take time away from the chores and move it more towards their new content that will keep us spending time in the game do I think they should remove the daily playtime to, I think, whatever I did that research study on, I think it was four and a half hours. I calculated amongst like thousands of players, the average playtime for somebody. Do I think they should lower that down to an hour? No. Do I think they should lower that down to two and a half hours to three hours of only new content, not necessity chore content? Yes, I do. Is that a long time to play? Absolutely. Can you skip some of it? Of course. But... The point is, get rid of the chores, let us focus more time on the content we want to do, and the game will be more successful. The next thing, and the final thing I want to talk about is the market. I don't think I've heard anyone talk about this. I could be wrong. What are they doing with this market? For me personally, this doesn't even exist to me. This hasn't existed to me since mid-2019. I check it for the daily or the monthly reset of Ancient Shards. I do buy because of the clan achievement, which is buy at the market. This is the only reason why I still check the market besides the ancient shards is to buy the mystery shards as often as I can. And that's it. That's terrible game design. This is something that I have no idea why they haven't touched. This is a useless part of the game very quickly after you start playing the game. The only relevant part, like I said, is going to be clan achievements. If you even care about that, only a completionist would care about that. And the ancient shards, they kind of threw that into, I guess, in their minds, make it more relevant. But this is, I don't know, this is like a, two, a year 2000 game mechanic that's here, comparatively speaking, of course, and we're in 2021. There's no reason this should still be in the game as outdated as it is. They need to update this. I have no ideas about this so this is where i kind of want some feedback from you guys who are watching what is a viable approach to this market here like i thought about it a little bit before i started recording this video but i really have no idea what could they do to this 
has to be realistic. Don't say put in sacred shards, put in void shards. They're not going to do that. I think we know Plarium well enough. Should they put in fragments of old fusions? That seems a bit too genish for them. I guess if they make it cost gems, put it on the monthly reset, something like that. But as far as daily goes, this is terrible. There's no reason this should be the way it is. Do they increase this to rares after a certain point? Possibly. But even then, if I see rares here, I'm not going to personally buy them. Maybe other players will, but I'm personally not going to. If they have a thresholds for this being rares, it's going to be pretty far down the line. So I don't know. All of these things I've been thinking about. This is where I want your feedback, your opinions. Let me know what you think about this video topic as a whole for sure. Did I miss something? I mean, I probably missed something. There was a lot to kind of tackle. And this is a very long video. So I just unwrapped a lot of things. Give me your thoughts. Give me your feedback. This is a pretty important topic. And this is something that I'm going to kind of pester them about specifically this video because i did bring up a lot of things that i brought up to them in the past i've never shared it in a video before and this can definitely give me some more leverage to pressure them saying okay i made a video about it now i've told them that i've told you as the company about this what are you going to do about it so this is important share this video like the video Leave a comment with some constructive feedback so I can use this as ammunition because a lot of this makes sense, not just from our point of view as the players, but from the company's point of view. It makes a lot of sense why they're not doing anything. I don't know. I would love to get that answer so I could give it to you guys because we should know that answer. So if you enjoy this content, smash that like button, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my next upload. And I will see you all in the next video.